And the snow is still coming down outside at our main studio as you take a live look right now at our exclusive 7 News yardstick, which indicates <laughs> about four inches on the table here. Of course, your results may vary. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm Fred Cunningham. And I'm Seville Vargas. Thanks so much for joining us on this very special edition. Mm -hmm. We are bringing you live team coverage here on WSPA. Uh, Christine Scar Scarpelli is in Spartanburg. We've got Tobias Rodriguez. He is joining us from Traveler's Rest and Nicole Ford is in Clemson. All right, let's go ahead and find out about how long this storm is going to last. Malachi has your forecast first. All right, the snow is wrapping up across the upstate and western North Carolina. You can just see the last few realms of snow around Greenville, Spartanburg, and Union County. So we zoom in a little bit closer here. Spartanburg, uh, the dividing line seems to be Interstate 26. Spartanburg seeing some snow. Same for Cowpens, Gaffney, and down towards Packlet and Union. But it is drying out and clearing out in Greenville, Malden, and Simpsonville. And we're looking at dry conditions in western North Carolina from Asheville down to Lake Lore. We'll start to see things clear out. In fact, we'll see clearing skies through the later part of the afternoon as that snow moves out. But we picked up some pretty good snow amounts. We shot the four inches over uh, at the studio in Spartanburg at WSBA. Inman's picked up about three and a half inches. Campobello, northern parts of Spartanburg County, about three inches. Greer, all the way down to Duncan and Spartanburg itself, about two to three inches of snowfall. But we also got a report from R.D. Jeffries from North Greer, and here you have it, three inches of very fluffy, powdery snow fell overnight and early this morning. Temperatures are the other big story. As the snow moves out, cold temperatures continue to move in. In fact, we started with temperatures in the 40s at around 5 o'clock this morning in the upstate. Those temperatures are now down into the 20s and 30s. Everyone with the exception of Union below freezing right now, and that's going to bring us some more concerns through the overnight hours. 32 degrees, our expected high today. That's it in the upstate and in western North Carolina. We will not climb above freezing through the evening and the overnight hours. Our attention and our concern turns to black ice forming on roadways later this afternoon, overnight tonight, and early tomorrow morning. We're going to talk more about the details of that. We're going to talk about how long it stays cold in our seven-day forecast, and that comes up right around 1217. All right, thanks so much, Malachi. Malachi has been telling us to stay inside if we can. And a lot of people have uh, not been on the roads, yeah, right? people have been listening this mm -hmm. morning. A lot of people off the roads uh, this morning. I was actually following the most traffic in North Carolina along I-26, mm -hmm. I-40. Let's get a look at the traffic map right now because I'm seeing North Carolina conditions looking a little better on the roads. A lot of slowdowns out there this morning, a lot of traffic in Spartanburg. You can see along 357 up to 358 heading towards 29, kind of a long stretch of traffic there. Now, I've been seeing a couple of accidents, also hearing about one very specific icy spot of the roads, a crew heading this way in Greenville. Uh, 276 right around Rutherford Road, hearing it's very icy here, seeing a lot of slowdowns there, so be extra careful if that's where you drive. Right now, only one serious crash that I'm following, an accident with injuries in Greenville at Blessing Game Road, right at Jacobs Road that's very close to I-85. Uh, seeing a lot of delays in the Traveler's Rest area as well, 25, 276 also going. As we look closely here along 25, heading north past 276, you can see a lot of cars packing the road, moving very slowly there. We also have some video from an early morning crash, a very serious crash. Check that out. This happened around 745 this morning. Uh, that car went under an 18-wheeler. Unfortunately, the driver of that car has died. We're also going to get a look outside right now, checking in on the roads around 85 in Pelham. You can see overall the interstate's looking pretty clear here, not seeing the usual backup spots, but traffic moving a little bit slowly. You're going to want to definitely slow down if you're heading out at all today. Thank you, Emily. We have been watching the roads for you all morning as the snow started falling after midnight. A DOT crews were pre cheating those roads, and then there were standing by waiting to start the plows and the salt trucks. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is live in Spartanburg along Asheville Highway with more. Christine? Good morning. Yes, yeah, Sabila, actually, it's afternoon now. We've been out here since this morning, but yeah. those snowflakes have been falling since 415. You guys remember seeing them. We were right here on Asheville Highway. It's a secondary road. You might hear that when DOT talks about some of the roads that you need to watch out for, but this is Asheville Highway, and I don't think you've seen it this quiet in a long time. We were talking to troopers. Corporal Bill Ryan was with us this morning talking about this road in particular. So let's take a look here. This traffic light, people are going to be slowing down to stop at these way sooner than they would normally or that's what troopers are hoping for at least and also turning into some of these businesses so we've got a Bojangles here you know Chick-fil-A right down the road the Burger King gonna need to slow down sooner to be able to turn in and out of those those parking lots 
not treated. So they could be a little slick, a little icy. And then guys, you know, photographer Ryan showing you right here the median, how there's just a little bit of accumulation of snow in there. Your tires are going to work differently as you go through that. Could slip just a little bit, but again, a lot of wet roads. We can see the sheriff's deputy going by right there nice and slow. That is what troopers are asking you to do. And then DOT crews, I spoke with them just a few minutes ago. They were saying they had two really successful days laying down that brine solution. So a lot of this did not freeze quite yet, but with colder temperatures, it certainly could. All right, guys, Asheville Highway, a little bit quieter than normal this morning. And remember, when you drive by, do not look at the news crew. Look at the road. Back to you. <laughs> good Always advice. good advice. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> now let's check in with Tobias Rodriguez. He's live in Traveler's Rest. Hey guys, well I've been out here all morning and for the first time today the snow has stopped but as you can see it still left a mess for drivers out here on the roadway. The road is pretty slushy right now at this time but in other parts of Greenville County we did see a lot of snow this morning that did cause some accidents. I went out to one near Highway 25 and Point Set Highway but thankfully Greenville County Schools did close today so a lot of people weren't out on the road and it seems like the businesses here downtown are closed today as well so there's not too many people out here in the road having to deal with this but some people did not mind the winter weather. I saw a lot of people this morning going out for runs and also taking their pets outside just to play around in the snow. I live here in Traveler's Rest and uh, just here enjoying this surprise snow with my puppy. Her name's Powder. She's a great Pyrenees. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, got off work today, so we decided to come out and walk around and enjoy some of this fresh snow. And Greenville County School said that they'll be assessing the situation for tomorrow, just in case they have to cancel school again. Reporting live in Greenville County, I'm Tobias Rodriguez, 7 News. Tobias, thank you. Well, dozens of people in Pickens County are taking advantage of the snowy weather today. And 7 News is Nicole Ford. She's live in Clemson along all of that winter weather activity. Hi, Nicole. Hey, good morning, guys. They're having a lot of fun out here. We're on Kite Hill in Clemson, and with classes canceled for Clemson University and school canceled for Pickens County School District, there are dozens of people out here enjoying the day. I will say sledding is the number one activity. People using laundry baskets, garbage cans, everything just to enjoy their time out here. Now, we do have a special guest who's out here enjoying a very special day. We have Catherine. She's in third grade here in Clemson. Now, Catherine, tell me why, why today is so special. Um, it's my birthday, and um, I guess I haven't seen snow in a pretty long time, and it's just special to go sledding with my friends. Now, Catherine's mom tells us that nine years ago on the day she was born, it actually did snow in Greenville as well. So what was the number one thing you were looking forward to when you woke up this morning? Um, the snow, <laughs> and just being out of school, and enjoying the time. Well, Catherine, we wish you a happy ninth birthday and we hope you have a good rest of your day. Now, ev while everyone's out here enjoying the day, we will say that the roads were not too bad here in Pickens County coming into Clemson, but we will be monitoring them throughout the rest of the day. For now, we're live in Clemson. Nicole Ford, 7 News. Sounds good. Thanks, Nicole.